In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use Grammarly within Google Chrome's browser. We'll start by installing the extension, then I'll show you how you can sign up for a free Grammarly account, and then I'll show you how you can create new Grammarly documents, or if you prefer to use Google Docs, we'll enable Grammarly within Google Docs. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here we are within Google Chrome and to add the Grammarly extension, we need to click on the three dots icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. And we're gonna click on more tools and then extensions. And here Chrome shows you all the extensions that are currently installed, but to add a new extension, we want to click in the left hand top menu where it says extensions. And then down the bottom of that menu, you'll see open Chrome Web Store. So we'll open up the Web Store and here we'll type in Grammarly. And we'll hit enter. And then the first option that pops up in the list is, is the Grammarly app. So we'll click on the button add to Chrome and then we'll confirm by clicking on add extension. And it takes, it might take a couple of minutes to install the extension, but you'll know when you see the little Grammarly icon in the top right hand corner of the Chrome browser that it's installed. Once installed, we'll click on that. And here we have the option to either sign up for a new account, or if you've all previously um, created an account with Grammarly, you can simply click on login in the top right hand corner there. But I'm gonna create a new account, so I'm gonna add my details and click on sign up. Now when signing up to a new account, Grammarly asks us three questions based on our intentions of how we wish to use the app. So the first question it asks is what we're going to be using it for. So I'm gonna click on work, and then I'm gonna say I want, to, I want help with spelling and grammar, and I'll skip the third question by just saying I'm not sure, and hit continue. We now have the option to either subscribe and pay for Grammarly Premium, or we can continue signing up with the free account. So I'm gonna continue with the free account and hit continue to Grammarly. Okay, and here we are within the Grammarly application and we have an option to take a quick tour um, to navigate the interface, but I'll skip that and you can see that Grammarly creates a demo document for us, which really just shows, shows us how Grammarly works, how it highlights spelling mistakes and punctuation errors and things like that. To create a new Grammarly document, we simply want to click on the Grammarly menu in the top left hand corner there. And here we see an option to create a new document. So I'll click on that. And now we can start editing a document within the Grammarly application. So I'll type in new document, give it a title, and we can start writing our text. If you prefer not to use the Grammarly editor, uh, and prefer, for example, to use Google Docs, then I'll show you how to enable, enable Grammarly within Google Docs now. So I'll go into my Google Drive to create a new Google Docs document. So just let's sign into Google Drive. And then I'm gonna right click, create a new Google document. And you'll see when we create that new document, the Grammarly extension recognizes we're in Google Docs and asks us if we wish to turn on the extension. So I'll click on turn it on. And now as we start typing, Grammarly will start highlighting any, any spelling mistakes and punctuation errors that, that, that we create. And that is how to install and use Grammarly within the Chrome browser. I hope you found this video useful. For more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can check out my blog, facultyofapps.com. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.